Hey, we're here at Love Supreme Jazz Festival uh, with Get Lifted TV, and we're here right now with Chris Bowers. Hi, how's it going? Hey, good. Good, good. So, you play the piano. Yes. And you did an undergrad and a master's at Juilliard School of Music in yep. New York City. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, did you grow up in New York? Uh, no, I grew up in LA originally, and I just moved to New York for school. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how did you get into music? Do you have a musical family? I, I don't really. Um, my parents just wanted me to be mus a musician for some reason. They actually uh, decided before I was born that I would play piano for some reason. And um, yeah, so I started very early and my brother plays sax, but other than that, it's kind of just the two of us. Yeah. It says in your um, bio that you create genre bending jazz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, who are, who are the influences that sort of made that happen? Um, man, anybody from Stevie Wonder to um, Jimi Hendrix to James Blake to Grizzly Bear, Radiohead, Jeff Buckley, um, My Bloody Valentine, like kind of all over the Huge place. Variety. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you grew up listening to classic sort of soul records and hip hop. Yeah, exactly. What sort of made you turn to more jazz? Um, well, something? I was studying classical piano when I was younger because that's kind of what you start with. And um, I like most kids hated practicing and didn't want to do that and so my parents put me in jazz because they felt like it might be a little more interesting and a little yeah. bit more fun and it was and i just i just uh stuck with it a bit more and congratulations on winning the thelonious monk oh, thank jazz you. piano that's thank a very you. prestigious <laughs> award to win you must be over the moon when that oh, thank you yeah definitely yeah so heroes and misfits that's your album out right now yeah yes tell us a bit about it uh yeah well it's um it features a lot of people in my generation uh, a lot of great artists in my generation and the whole album is about this generation and and um i found this theory that that called us the archetypal hero generation and i thought that was kind of fitting for a lot of the stuff that was happening um around the time i started writing for the record like uh arab spring or occupy wall street or these different movements and i think our our generation finding our voice and and uh speaking up and speaking out for things and against things and and so, um, yeah, that's kind of what the album is about, Heroes and Misfits. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Did you, um, do you write all the stuff yourself? And uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's all um, either just me or with the other band members. Uh, actually, a lot of it is written with um, some of the other people in the band. Did you meet them all at Juilliard? No, actually, I don't think I'm, yeah, none of them I met at Juilliard, actually, yeah. Uh, just playing around the city and um, playing in different bands and um, online and stuff like that, yeah. So. When you're here, is this your first time in the UK? It's not. It's not. Yeah, my first time in, it's not even Brighton. What is the name of this? We're near Brighton. We're in Glen. Yeah, <laughs> never been here before. Never. Yeah. <laughs> so where do you hang when you come to London? Man, I still haven't, like, been in London enough to actually hang anywhere yet. Every time we come, it's for a day. Like, I leave tomorrow morning. So one of these days, I'm going to come here and, and spend a bit of time and actually get to know the city. Yes, you, you should definitely go to Ronnie's. Okay, yeah, I still haven't yeah, been there. Yeah. I've been here five times. I've never been to Ronnie Scott's. Yeah, there's actually a Ronnie's Big Tent yeah. here today. Big right, that's where, that's where I played, yeah. Oh, yeah, awesome. exactly. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so you're an artist that you do like, a huge variety of things. So you've, have you written some film scores as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I did um, this film called Elaine Stritch Shoot Me, and it's uh, about Elaine Stritch, who's a big Broadway actress. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also did, a, I did another film called Seeds of Time, which is about the agriculture industry. So yeah. Do you write yourself, or do you have a collaborator you write with? Or? Uh, for that stuff, it's, it's all me, it's all and you. I um, write for. One of them was more of a jazz score, and the the Seeds film was more of a um, like full orchestra with strings and woodwinds wow. and stuff. And um, yeah, so I studied orchestration at Juilliard, so it's kind of using those skills. And you appeared on the Jay Z Kanye West album as well. Yeah, yeah. Years ago. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's great to have that. How did yeah. that come about? Um, I was doing a show at Q-Tip, and um, Kanye was one of the special guests for the show, and they were still working on that album, and so they needed some extra key stuff, so they asked me to come back in the studio, mm. and I spent the next two or three days with um, the two of them, and that was pretty pretty amazing, for sure. Yeah. Great. So you hanging out for the rest of the day here at Love Supreme? Yeah, the sun <laughs> came out a little bit. Yeah? Go, you know, see some more music, for sure. It'll Who be are you playing to see? Definitely my friend Takuya Kuroda is playing, and I'm going to go check him out and uh, hopefully stick around for De La Soul. Yeah. That'd be amazing. I've never yes. seen them live. Yeah. <laughs> We're excited about that. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Chris. No, it's been a pleasure. You. No, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching Get Lifted TV. Please share and subscribe for more.